Hey guys, this is a uh, cabs with yikes reviews. Um, I just want to do a really quick video. Um, we're literally on the eve of final fantasy seven rebirth coming out. And I was thinking back, um, the times I played final fantasy seven experienced final fantasy avid children. Um, and the first time that I actually waited in anticipation for the OG final fantasy seven to come out. Um, I'm super, super excited for today. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Uh, my sister Goose, uh, her channel's here. You should be able to find it. Um, she has really great content. I advise you all to check it out. Um, thinking back to the anticipation of when the original Final Fantasy VII came out, um, I originally, I... When it, I'd never played an RPG before, um, and this is back in the early 90s, like 97, 96. Yeah, 97, that's when Final Fantasy VII came out. Um, old man brain. Um, <laughs> uh, when the original Final Fantasy VII came out, um, I remember Game Pro and Game Informer had like, like a 10 or 15 page spread on the game. And I was just so, so ready for that game to come out. I took out pages of the magazine. This is before you know sites like Kotaku and all that stuff um i took out pages of just them talking about it like screenshots um of the mock reactor of cloud deep down into the mock reactor and i made like a almost like a a magazine of nothing but just final fantasy just took clippings and everything i mean i was a fanatic um in anticipation for the game since i'd never played an rpg before i picked up wild arms and Wild Arms is, is awesome. I, I advise all you guys to play it. Um, it's a tale about Rudy Rough Knight and the stuff that he goes through and the secrets of his past and his origin. Um, had really big secrets. It's actually one of my favorite RPGs next to Seven. Um, I kind of like it a little bit more, a little, little, little bit more than Seven, but um, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it. We're talking about Seven. So um, anyway, um, yeah. So I, I was really hyped for the game. I every time I went to school. Um, I had it with me. Um, I, I, I mean, I used basically staples to just staple it together, um, and just comb over every little detail. They were talking about like how the cinematics had never been seen. We're going for movie quality, Hollywood cinematics, the CGI, you know, something that you've never seen in art and games of that time and that period. And I was just really, really excited. Um, and when the game came out, uh, I remember we went with my sister, my father, and my mother. Uh, we went up to a, a little place called Babbage's. Yeah, Babbage's. That's how old <laughs> I am. Um, it was around uh, Laurel Mall, Laurel Mall, Maryland. Um, it's no longer there. I don't even think, I think the mall is still there, maybe in some form, but I know Babbage's is not there anymore. Um, they went inside and um, they had a. Uh, they, we asked, we already pre-ordered it. Um, I remember even before we went to pick it up, we were on vacation at Ocean City. And me and my sister, we were waiting to see the trailer because they were showing like a, not the trailer, but the commercial of Final Fantasy VII. And um, we had never seen it. Like they, we, we heard like they, there were spots that were showing it, you know. And on vacation, um, we, were, we were waiting to see it. We were waiting to see it. And then me and my sister, we went out to the beach. And my mother... She was in the hotel room. She saw it. She's like, hey, is this the game you guys uh, pre-ordered? And you're like, oh, my God. How did you see it? And we didn't see it. You don't care about the game. How did you? He's like, whoa, that's, that's really nice. That's, I, I like it. I like it. I'm like, oh, mom, come on, man. So she saw it. And um, we, were, we were just jealous the whole time. Um, but then the day came for us to go to, you know, Laurel Mall, Babbage's, pick it up. So we did. And we rolled up in there and the guy working the desk, he had like a couple people waiting. And uh I I I went up to the, the counter, I was like, um, he had to pick up Final Fantasy Seven and the guy said, uh, is your parents here? Cause you look kinda a little bit young. I was like, Yeah. Here's my mom. She said, Yep, you're here. Here's the receipt. And uh they handed us the the copy, put it in a bag, mom paid for it. And um 
He's like, oh yeah, you also get a t-shirt. And I wish I still had the t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt with the Final Fantasy logo on the uh, left side and had Cloud in the back. And I wish I had that. Uh, God, man, it had been so great. Um, I spilled so much stuff on it. I cut up the sleeves and made a muscle shirt. I grew large into it. Like, you know, it was really small in my size now, um, if I could fit it, which I couldn't. But um, yeah, that, that shirt is gone. Lost in antiquity, but um, yeah, it's one of my favorite moments because I remember when he was passing out the shirt, he was like, "This is the last T-shirt," and there's a guy he was pre-ordering behind my mom. He was pre-ordering Final Fantasy VII, and he looked at the clerk pass off the last T-shirt and the the fury and anger in his face. Man, I wish I wish I could record it back then, but he was pissed, dude. Like he was waiting for that. Um, we didn't expect it. We we had no idea about it, but like. We were just so happy. My sister, me and my sister, we were jumping up and down. It was like one of the happiest moments I remember of my childhood. And you have to understand, like, with Final Fantasy VII, like, I know people get, like, look at people that like games, like, sideways sometimes. Like, this is this for kids. Why are you still playing games and stuff like that? But, like, Final Fantasy VII um, and games of, games of its ilk, um, they have a way of, like, changing you changing you for the better like you'd be going through some really dark times and for some reason you hear the music of final fantasy 7 and it just lifts you up you could be playing a scenario on final fantasy 7 and it reminds you of a place or a time that you lived like something that happened to you you know how you like smell something and it like transports you back to that experience that's what final fantasy 7 is um there are games there are musics music um there's media that that does that to you. There are there are things in the world that do that to you. But I'm speaking strictly on Final Fantasy VII. Like when I say that, not only was it a revolutionary game in in terms of like the production value and the things that they've done in terms of like engage you into experience. It it it's it's a seminal work for a lot of Square. A lot of people that work at Square, and it meant so much to me and my sister. Like literally, my sister got into art, into writing, um, because of Seven. She she does her own stuff, and it it, it it's something that really means a lot. And on this eve of rebirth, I mean, the game is receiving glowing reviews. Like I don't know if you saw all the tens and four and fives and stuff like that, but like it's knocking it out of park. This feeling feels very much like the feeling when I first picked up when we first picked up the original OG Final Fantasy 7 and I'm super excited I I, I want to see where it's going um it seems like Sephiroth he does not want to be a memory um he's doing everything possible not to be a memory um and I hope they go in depth with like his schemes and machinations and they go in with the dynamic or more on the dynamic of cloud Tifa and Aerith and Zach because you know Zach and, and the crew um they're playing a pivotal role in this you know sorry I, I didn't mean to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played the game but um yeah I just wanted to give uh my thoughts on it and um say that I'm really really excited to see this to play this game and experience it again and um I hope everyone is excited too uh there, there's so much going on this year <laughs> um it, it's insane so um i'm trying to like calm down lower my expectations but the more i hear about the game the more excited i get so all right i'm gonna shut up but um yeah i just want to share my quick thoughts uh my love for five and seven um nojima namura kazahige um you guys you guys did your damn thing and i'm really excited to, to experience it once again with my family, with my sister, um, and everyone here. So once I get through it, I'll, I'll probably put up a review. Um, I might just go back and play the old remake and integrate and lead up to rebirth. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things go, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this has been Kaz with Yikes Reviews. If you liked what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you everyone for checking out the, my last video. Um, and I'll see you later. Cabbage out. Thank you.